I am currently touring across America with my band I Prevail and every night I'm playing a drum solo that sounds a little something like this. On DBO Academy, I just released a full course where I teach you how to play this solo and create your own perfect solo using the DBO solo framework. And today I am pulling a lesson from that course to teach you the intro of that solo. Let's jump into it. This part of the solo is perfect to take a sticking pattern and play it between a few different drums, but ultimately make it a beat, right? So this could be a paradiddle, a six stroke roll, any type of rudiment that you know, but with still having that snare on beat three or two and four. So the main sticking pattern for me in this attention grabber part is simply a paradiddle of right, left, right, right. And then I just added a left and a kick. This is the main part of what I'm doing here. I'm playing that two times and I'm just filling in the space by starting off with a right hand and a kick. And then I also have a kick, right, left together, kick to add that backbeat. But everything else is that sticking pattern. And I'm simply just playing this as 16th notes. So now let's play this pattern on the snare drum alone. Now, when it comes to applying this pattern to the kit, luckily for you, I made it pretty darn simple. For the most part, your dominant hand is gonna be on the floor tom the entire time, and your weak hand is going to be on the hi-hat the entire time. Now, the exception is that that first note, we're gonna play an open hi-hat with your dominant hand, then it's gonna move to the floor tom. The other exception is on beat three, your weak hand is gonna come down from the hi-hat to hit the snare, and then right after that, you're gonna do one more note on the hi-hat with your dominant hand. But everything else, dominant hands on the floor tom, weak hands on the hi-hat, kicks are on the kick, and then we have this attention-grabbing groove. Now right after that, I go into another groove that's still part of the attention grabber that sounds like this. Now the beautiful thing about this is I'm playing the exact same sticking pattern that we just learned. I'm just applying it to the kit a little bit differently. I'm making it a little bit more beefy and a little bit busier. The first one was a little bit more intricate with those close hi-hats. Now I'm adding in more toms. So for the first half of it, Again, our dominant hand is staying on the floor tom, but that first note we're now going to hit on the china or the stack or crash, whatever you have. For me, I'm hitting it on the china. And then all my weak hand notes are on the rack tom. Now, in the second part of the groove, everything stays the same with the dominant hand. You are still on the floor tom, but then we move back to what we were doing in the first part of the groove where your weak hand plays the closed hi-hat. The only other change is when we come down on the snare, your dominant hand is back on the china. So let's put that together and hear what it sounds like. If you want to learn how to play this entire solo then join dbo academy because on top of that you're going to get a drumming path that's going to make you feel like a beast 
on the kit. I'm also going to give you a special link that gives you 15 days free to DBO Academy right up here. I'm so confident that your skills will level up when joining that after your first 30 days, if you want to cancel, we will give you your money back. Click the link in the description to get your 15 days free. I'll see you there. Stay true.